What's up guys? Hey, once again, thanks for tuning in to the Gamers Rebirth DL channel. Today we're going to install the plugin for the PlayStation 4 controller on the PlayStation Vita. What do we have? Henkaku R7 and Tai Henkaku had finally joined forces and have been merged, making it the most stable release yet. Adrenaline still works, which is awesome, but just to show you some proof, Cookie Monster and myself Bye -bye. are going to show you in the PlayStation Vita. As you can see, we're launching the Mini with the new update. And look at that magic from the flow. Keeps on raining on our console. Taihenkaku R7 Enhancement. It brings its plugin support, of course stability improvements, and the updater has been fixed for the Vita shell. Now to install Henkaku, reboot your PlayStation Vita and visit http go.henkaku.xyz from the Vita browser, but just wait for a few moments, we'll go ahead and do that. So now we're going to move in to the PlayStation 4 controller installation. First download the files from the description and now follow my steps. So you're going to download that zip file, I have put in a folder inside, uh, I have the link, the mega link, so extract the folder. Once you have extracted the folder, you will see four files. Now reboot your PlayStation Vita and go to the website gohenkaku.xyz Now that we have rebooted the PlayStation Vita, we're going to go to our web browser and we're going to input our web address. So just let it be, it'll install by itself, let's take a moment, it shouldn't take that long. Now if you get an error uh, with installing Taihenkaku, the new version, uh, before you launch it, a uh, little tip, you can go to settings, delete the cookies, and delete the uh, search history. And also you can close all the tabs that you had open so that way that has worked for me so it might work for you as well to make it a smooth installation so just remember that tip now we're going to open molecular shell and we're going to hit start to enable unsafe homebrew So we launch Molecular Shell. As you can see, I'm gonna hit the Start button. Now, I have it on, but I'm gonna turn it off and then re-enable it. You're gonna get that message, please read it. If you approve it, then just click on okay then right now the fourth step we're gonna transfer files with the filezilla to uxo tie and uxo plugins so that those files in the first step that you downloaded just have an open and ready and you connect your video with FTP so uxo 
we go to the tie folder and then open the folder that you extracted from the zip and copy the first four files and then we're going to overwrite them so all is ready for you, you just need to drag to the folder, specific folder tie and then we are going to need the same files into the plugins I just created a different folder so that it can help you guys. If you don't have that folder, then create the plugins folder in UXO. So I have some, I already have the folder. So I open the plugins folder and then I'm going to go ahead and transfer the same files. But I just created a different folder so you guys don't get confused. So now go to my color shell and then I click start. And then we're going to reload Taihan config text and we're going to reboot the PlayStation Vita. So we're rebooting the device. I'm getting ready that PlayStation 4 controller. Now we're going to go to a web browser again and we're going to go to our uh, website or web address http we're going to go to go.nkaku.xyz and we're going to let it do its magic After this, it shouldn't be that hard, so we're going to go to settings, devices, Bluetooth devices, and then we're going to press the PS and the share button on the controller, and then we're going to select the wireless controller that is going to appear on your Bluetooth settings. So we're going to launch settings. devices, Bluetooth devices, now you, it doesn't show in there, well it shows one because I already did one, and you'll see an example of the white controller also, so we're going to press share and the PS at the same time, So now you're going to get an, an alert and then it's going to say do you want to register this Bluetooth device? Device name doesn't really have a device name so we just click OK and it's kind of weird it's going to give you an error but if you can see the controller's light it's lit you're going to click con wireless controller I don't know why it gives you an error but it just keeps on going so what I figured out is that it, it's already synced or it's already with your PlayStation Vita. So I just click cancel. Then you will see it on your devices. So I went back and I went uh, in again to the settings you're gonna see the controller now my controller is currently off so I'm just gonna press the PS button and it's going to lit up and it's going to automatically sync it's going to sync with the console you can see it's green and it did work so now let's try it out I'm kinda excited right now so of course, I already know the end result, but I still get excited, guys. So as you can see, there's options, like start button. Let's go with the Kai. I don't know how to say it, it's key, Kai. King Kai, get it? 
Goku. So as you can see, I can use the analog stick. I'm using the arrows. Back. So everything's working fine. Now, a little bit of mud button mash. Now as you can see the screen goes dark after a little bit, but maybe you want to change your options. But it's awesome guys. Pretty cool. And I want to show you as also with the white controller. This was the first one I did. Um, sorry I don't have no sound on this one. I had my baby screaming. But you can just figure it out. Just kicking my ass. And then I'm gonna do like the Aryukin, I think. So. so that's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys liked it. Comment, like, Gamers Rebirth out.